Hey everyone, Amar here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can find yourself, right? This is the solution to all your life's problems. Everything. The problem is we've lost touch with ourselves, right? And this is why you have mental, emotional problems. You can't ever be happy. You can't achieve what you want. You can never fulfilled because you're not in touch with yourself, right? And this is the human condition. Thankfully, more and more people are waking up and we're understanding this and we're coming back to ourselves. So in this video, I just wanted to show you kind of what happens on the journey, how we lose touch with ourselves and how we can get back in touch with ourselves and actually the roadmap to how, for how to do that. Okay, before I get into the video, just want to say if you're new to the channel, you like this sort of thing, you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Check me out on Instagram as well if you're on there also. But let's get into this video, how to find yourself. So like I've just touched on, this is the key to your life, right? And you might be thinking that I'm just saying this, I'm trying to hype the video up. You can think that if you want, but as far as I'm concerned, I really truly believe this is the, the solution to your problems, to your family's problems, to cultural, societal problems. If everybody found themselves, half of the problems on this planet wouldn't exist, right? Because we'd be coming from a completely different energy. Even on a personal level, the things that you go through, especially difficulties and suffering and hard times and never really achieving what you want, never feeling fulfilled, all these things would, as a byproduct of you being in touch with yourself, naturally be resolved, right? We're already born with this quality of ourselves, the true power of what we are. Unfortunately, as you're going to find out, it gets conditioned out of us, right? And when we lose ourselves, that's where we have so many problems. That's where humanity is now. That's where humanity has been for a long time. But I think we are going to break through. And when we do start to find ourselves again, the game changes, right? And we will become what we've always destined to be. So first of all, I'm just going to use this board I've got these models these figures that I always use and I'm going to show you the ego self first and then the true self so the ego self is obviously where you are now with all your limitations all your programming all your conditioning if you imagine that when you come into the world you're a hundred percent pure raw energy right I want to put it on this one 100 percent just raw energy and that 100% pure energy is just like power. It's a sense of just pure life force, right? And obviously, you're a baby. <laughs> you're a baby. So you are this pure life force, pure unlimited like power because you've just literally left the source or you come from God. You've got all your power and you're at 100%. But we come into the world, we have to become like socialized. We have to be able to function in the world because without being socialized, we'll just, <laughs> we won't really be able to function. We can't just live as a baby, unfortunately. And that is where the conditioning starts. Now, the first two levels of conditioning we pick up are mostly from our caregivers, from our mother and our father, right? So, there's the first level of conditioning. So it's almost like a prison you put in. Depending on the quality of your parenting, especially with your mother and your father, that immediately diminishes that 100% life force. Maybe it comes down to 80%. 80% if you had good parenting, right? If you were abused or traumatized or had a lot of negative programming, that 80% could be maybe 60 or even 50, right? We're always going to lose something. You need to know that you're never going to be able to be 100% because the nature of the world is limitation, right? We are, we're always going to be limited because we're human, unfortunately. So no matter what, you're always going to lose something. Any little bit of conditioning is going to make you lose some of that initial power that you came in with. However, if you had good parenting, there's a good possibility you'll keep a good amount of that, like I said, in this model, 80%. But it still limits you, which is what I'm trying to show with this. And just on a side point on this, something I've been learning about, is that the relationships we have with our mother and father create the model for how we create all of our human relationships, right? So the relationship you had with your mother, the first relationship you had, will 
create the model for the relationship you have with all women, right? Because that's the first model of the feminine that you have. As same with the, uh, the father. The relationship you had with your father, the masculine, paints the picture and creates the model for the relationship you'll have with all men in your life, right? So straight away from that, you can see if you have a problem with women or you have a problem with men, it probably comes back to your early role models, your mother and your father, right? And if they were good relationships, that's great. You'll develop healthy relationships as you grow up. If you had unhealthy relationships or maybe one of your parents was absent, then you're probably potentially going to struggle in relationships with, with that gender, right? So that's the first level of conditioning, caregivers, role models. Second level of conditioning is societal, right? This is the world telling you what you should be, right? You do things when you get to school because you want to be cool, right? You want to be liked. You don't want to be rejected naturally. So that 80% obviously gets diluted even some more. Maybe it comes down to 60% at this point. But you've still got some power, 60%. However, if you were bullied, mistreated, or just had a rough time growing up, and that's the conditioning you picked up, that 60% could become like 40%. And for some people, even lower. I mean, I'm just making these numbers up, right? Just to kind of depict what I'm trying to share. But this could be anything. You could be like 10% in touch with your true self. And I think if you're that... Like, you're that out of touch with yourself, you're going to have massive problems in your life, right? Because you're going to be living from your conditioning, your limitation, right? You're going to be living on the surface of yourself. This is what happens. We don't live from our depth. We live from, like, all the conditioning we've picked up. And there's so much pain and trauma that you've got to work through to get to this 100%. So you could say that all this, you're living here. Right, most people are living on their level of their conditioning, right? You literally have to drop deeper past this conditioning, right? Break through it. Keep getting deeper and deeper past all the emotional programming, the psychological programming you've picked up. And just get deeper to yourself, right? We know this. Um, you, what you're seeking, it's already inside you, right? It's nowhere else. You're not going to find it in money. You're not going to find it in the perfect relationship. You're not going to find it in the perfect body. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them things, but don't be crazy enough to think you're going to find happiness in them things. If you want them things, go get them things. But you must understand the happiness is inside you. The happiness is your true self, right? And if you actually find that first, or you find it along the journey, then all the other stuff, the relationship, the money, the six pack, whatever, is just going to fulfill you so much more. Right, because you're not seeking yourself in it, you found yourself first, right? And this is the journey. So, like I said, eventually we want to get back to as much of our life force as we can, right? We're just a blob of energy, essentially. I know that doesn't sound very um, glamorous, we're just all blobs of energy, right? And that energy gets conditioned into different forms of different energy. So, we could say at that 100% that some of that. A big portion that gets conditioned into emotional energy, different types of emotions, sexual energy, um, life force, the energy that makes your body work. So like that energy is being diluted, right? But the traumas, the negative programming, the conditioning takes up so much of this energy, right? We lose so much of ourselves in the conditioning. This is the problem. So when we get through the conditioning, which I'm going to share with you in a minute, we'll come back to our true selves, we'll reclaim that energy, right? And you're probably never ever going to live at 100% pure life force. But if you can get to even 70%, I mean, again, I'm making these numbers up, you're going to be loving life. You're going to be really in touch with yourself, right? So to end the video, you might be wondering, well, how the hell do I get in touch with myself? Well, that's kind of the work that we do. That's nearly every video I, I make. It's about getting beyond the conditioning, right? You can, you can do this in meditation. If there was a simple, the most simplest practice is simply meditation. It's basically to drop below all of that, the thoughts, the emotions, the feelings, the triggers, the traumas, drop below all of that stuff and just be no one. Just experience yourself as pure energy. It's the best way I can describe it, right? 
be in the unknown. Sometimes I do a meditation where I hold a mindset that I don't know who I am. I don't know anything. I'm just being, right? And that can drop you below the conditioning. That's the hardest part. The hardest part is getting beyond the conditioning, right? And it took me years. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to dishearten you. I hope you can get there before me. It depends on the level of trauma and the conditioning you've received, right? For some people, it's going to be harder to penetrate and break through that, right? It's like reinforced steel for some people. Some people is not. Some people literally are, are pretty woke just from childhood. I think Osho, you probably heard of him. Um, I've read a few of his books. I know from a very young age, the guy was just very, very woke, right? So some people naturally just don't have much conditioning. But like I said, some people's conditioning is like reinforced steel. <laughs> I think mine was. And you just, just got to keep hammering away, keep piercing through and breaking through. And eventually, you'll know when you get there because you just find this depth, this peace that is just beyond all mental and emotional programs. And when you get there... You know, you just start to cultivate that connection to the truth, to your truth, right? And as you cultivate that connection, life begins to shift. You start to find more of yourself. You actually just find yourself. That's what happens. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to talk about in a video. Like, this is the journey. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to. I know I like to explain things in a way that maybe other people don't. But this is just how my mind works. I think I'm quite a logical person. Um, and this is really what I'm like, the journey of my journey has been like, at least how that's, the, this is the model that I kind of use to explain it, right, which is what I wanted to share with you. So I hope this made sense. Um, this is the most important thing that you can do. I mean, if you really get in touch with yourself, you can actually take it further. You can go full blown enlightened, but not everybody has to do that, right? You just getting in touch with yourself enough is going to resolve most of your problems, right? And you might be happy and content to just spend the rest of your life there. Just understand that you can take it as far as you want to take it, okay? But that is everything I have to talk about in a video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Please go ahead, give it a like, share, subscribe. Really helps me out. Check out my book if you haven't already. I'll put a link down below. But until next time, remember to keep living free and being free. Peace.